Hey, what's up? It's Schnell, and welcome to a new collection update here on Vital Vinyl Vlog. First off, heavy, heavy hails to John Randall, one of the gnarliest viewers of this channel, especially when it comes to total fucking support. Just give John a round of applause for keeping this channel afloat sometimes, and... We're going to be going over a collection update he sent my way. Pretty much a late birthday present. And it's beyond gnarly. And we're going to start with what we're blasting. And that is Van Records Storm Keep with Gorom on Van Records. Gorom is absolutely fan fucking tastic. Black metal with dungeon synthy elements. Killer, killer shit. Like, I can't get over how awesome this record is. From the artwork, everything about it. And it says here that the cover art is from 1994 by Ian Miller. Just badass, and their logo and all the stuff this comes with, you'll see. And this is on 180 gram white smoke vinyl, limited to 500 copies. Like, just amazing, amazing black metal. This is my shit. And you have Isaac from Blood Incantation, Wayfarer. I know that I know some of these other individuals, but just the way the photo's taken, it's kind of hard to see who else is in it. But just look at that. Fuck yeah. Killer, killer stuff. And Stormkeep represents medieval fantasy, ancient legends, and magic exclusively. And this mini LP, it's... Yeah, absolutely fucking brilliant. Total second wave Scandinavian, I was pretty much total emperor worship, but played by some of the best musicians in the American underground. It's fucking fantastic. You just need to hear it for yourself. Just look at their logo. Like, fucking sick. And then you get a poster of the cover. The download code was even super fucking nice. Look at this thing. So I guess if I want to use a poster of just the logo, I have a little poster of the cover art. So that's badass. I like stuff like that. But, as you can hear, like, this is just killer fucking stuff. I can't get over, honestly, that I even have a copy of this. I thought it was sold the fuck out, and I missed out on it. But here it is. Stormkeep Gorom. Gorom is fucking awesome. That's all I can really say about this. Check it out if you can get your hands on it. Next up, we'll do a cassette, and that is Head Split, who did the cassette version. Nuclear War Now did the CD and vinyl, and that is a Vasago, Knights from Hell. Fucking so evil and just sick. Really nice cassette, sounds great. That's a go. Killer black metal. I, I I love this stuff. It's just ancient sounding, like Stormkeep, but a, a lot more evil and thrashy. Real good stuff here. But lastly, and you're like, wait. 
collection update, you only have three fucking records. Well. Oh my god. John Randall. You're the boss. Beherit the Oath of Black Blood. Pic picture disc LP. Tip on gatefold jacket. 44 page 12 by 12 booklet. Enter the Satanic Baphometal Metal Temple. The 1990 classic of Finnish bestial black metal. Now I had to transfer stickers over from the original shrink wrap onto a different vinyl sleeve. But look at how fan-fucking-tastic the cosmetics are here. Classic artwork by Christopher Moyen. I'm going to take the book out real fast because it's fucking ridiculous and show you just how nice this picture disc release is. First off, the glossy gatefold. Wow. This sounds so good on wax as well. Here's the actual picture disc inside of a fucking sleeve and dog. Oh, this is I I thought this was the Die Hard edition, honestly. Like just based on how fucking nice this is, like but it's not. Wow. Fucking wow. Like, as a Beherit fan, wow, like, when I threw on the B-side last night, which is, you know, Black Mass Prayer, Beast of Damnation and stuff, like, I was just so blown away with how just good the mix was on vinyl. Fucking awesome, awesome stuff. Very, very impressed everything about this bad boy but like this holy shit 44 pages of just knowledge awesome photos like seriously look at this stuff oh my like do you want to do your college thesis on Beherit? well <laughs> I guess you can now with the reissue of the Oath of Black Blood because this has interviews, promo photos, live photos, insane lineups. Like Amorphous with Demigod, Impaled Nazarene, Sentenced Beherit. Like, what the fuck? There's so much good stuff in here. Like, I don't want to spoil everything. But I know that this is sold out, so I'll show you some more. Some live photos of the boys. I'm trying to find the one lineup. It's Here's an awesome uh, little interview and like write-ups about the release and stuff. There's a little ad for Akron out of uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I saw that, I was like, whoa, that's fucking sick. Like, just, you know, very ancient and just sick. Everything, like, you get some of the more rough art from Chris as well. Like, fucking A. Like, I was saying, it's just like everything you could possibly want when it comes to Beherit's earlier material. Like, it's fucking very, very well done. And I'll show you the Stormkeep LP. Because it's fucking gorgeous. Limited the 500 copies. So fucking good. And... To my knowledge right now, 
this is sold out the picture disc version and i'm pretty sure the black lp is sold out the cassette sold out you might be able to get the cd the cassette sounds great but like i mean this is just ridiculous how nice this is this is pretty much as nice as my uh Celtic Frost, uh, to Mega Theron double LP set with the booklet and everything. We have a letter here from Damien of Fornication to Impurity from Brazil. I just think stuff like this, you know, it's super cool and just a look into the underground back in 1990 and it's just fucking rad. Like, again, just so much information to digest. If you're a Beharit fan, this is essential. Like, I couldn't afford this, and John was like, yo, I keep an eye on your mailbox. You got something special coming. And, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yes, dude. Like, you have no idea how absolutely stoked I was yesterday. I was kind of like blown away and here is my favorite two photos of the entire insert oh well one's a drawing but still fucking so sick ross bay cult eternal that's an og blasphemy hoodie like the old the old art Everything about this is so fucking sick. Worship the devil. This is cool too, like showing test presses and shit. Like, fuck. Hey, everything about this whole setup, like, I was just like, wow. It's a total labor of fucking love here. And you pretty much get every Beharit promo photo you could possibly want. Here's the show I was talking about. It's ridiculous. I actually have the flyer with my copy of Convulsa. I'm sorry. Uh, fuck. The demo, Resuscitation of Evilness. I'm sorry. But like, Beharit... They played with so many fucking awesome bands back in the day. But, like, here's photos of, like, the original 19... Well, this is a... Well, just take a look. I like this. Hello, Black Winds. That's sick. All this stuff. Like, just super fucking cool. And, like I was saying, pretty much everything you could want to know about Beharit during this time period exists within these 44 pages of fucking madness and on bass and roars we have demon of the seventh devil of fornication the last slaughter on drums and nuclear holocausto of bloody vengeance on guitars and growls one of my biggest influences vocally Right there. So a lot of people ask me sometimes, like, you know, who, who, who's your favorite, like, vocalist? And when I say his name, people, like, look at me like, really? I'm like, yeah. Like, have you ever listened to The Oath of Black Blood? Or Drawing Down the Moon? Like, his vocals are just, like, so fucking ridiculous. But, like, also, like, Anti Bowman, obviously. There's something in that water in Finland, I'm telling you. But I can't get over how nice these Nuclear War Now box sets are. It's not even a box set. Just uh, the picture disc. Fuck. I'm kicking myself in the ass for not getting the Proclamation box set. Like, it was worth the risk of... I mean, I didn't have $130. But, like, it's worth it. Like, those four LPs, if they came, and, I, and they did, like, I know they came with the same TLC that this Beharit reissue came with. Like, this is a total love letter to, you know, one of the best bands when it comes to early bestial black death metal. And if you've never heard The Oath of Black Blood by Beharit, 
what are you doing? I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick, but seriously, you gotta hear this. If you're a fan of, like, even revenge. Like, if you're new to the genre and all you really know is revenge. If you want to hear where, like, all that came from, go back, check out Sarcophago, check out Early Blasphemy. I mean, even Gods of War is good. I mean, it's not the best, but it's still good. But there's so many sick bands, like, just go down the rabbit hole and find, you know, stuff that you like yourself. Because there's bands today that are fucking absolutely killing the best deal black death scene, like Antichrist Siege Machine. Um, I would really, really check out, um, oh my god, why am I drawing a blank here? Like, I, I, I know this band's name, like, because they're fucking ridiculous, like, not Human Agony, although they're really fucking good, um, um, fuck, uh, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here, but, like, besides Impure, which you can just say is straight up black metal, I'm just drawing a blank, I, I would say, no matter what, though, check out Profane Order. And there was just this other band I was going to say besides Antichrist, Siege Machine, Profane Order, and blank. I, I forget who the fuck I wanted to mention, but they're gnarly as shit. Oh, Chlorophragrium. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I apologize completely. I legit just, like, completely went blank. I couldn't think whatsoever. <laughs> but I also like sometimes just looking at how many red, black, and white covers I have with either goats and zombies on it. I love it, though. It's fucking so cool. <laughs> and Beherit, the Oath of Black Blood, just fucking A. Get into it. And same thing, get into Stormkeep with Godram. Why am I saying it like that? Because I don't know how else to say it. It sounds like a fictional, like, fantasy-based castle or city. I don't really know, but, like, with title track, I mean, with the title track being... Glass Caverns of Dragon Kings. Yeah, like, th j just get into this. I, I can't recommend it enough. You have members of Blood Incantation playing Dungeon Synth mixed with the second wave of Scandinavian black metal. It's fucking ridiculous. And if you just want some evil fucking tunes, you can't go wrong right here with Vasago Knights from... Hell. Head Split, I think it sold out of the tapes. These were from like a couple years ago, I think. I think they were, this was 2019. Yeah. But if you can get your hands on this, like, Vasago, sick. Like, seriously, sick. And Nights from Hell is just a badass release. Very happy to have these 15 tracks of savagery. But, Thank you again to John Randall for making this video possible and keeping this channel afloat. Because sometimes, you know, I'm waiting on the postal service for packages. Um, like, we're gonna, like, because I get hit up a lot about certain things. Like, the new Caligari releases, they're coming. So, just chill. <laughs> when I get the coffin mulch tape and stuff... I'll let you folks know, and we can go over it. And I know about some of the other gnarly stuff that Transylvanian Recordings has. In good time, I still have to go over a few releases of theirs from the last batch. And it's just three, and they're pretty good releases, so I'm actually stoked to go over them with you. And I'm waiting for... I don't want to spoil it because it's going to be a big video and uh but Valix involved in it. I'm just waiting for the replacement sleeves for the LP. 
and that should give that away if you know what I'm talking about. And again, like, hails to Appalachian Noise Records on that one. Fucking good looks. But, again, as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. John Randall. Everybody, I wish I could give you an Instagram account, but my brother does not use Instagram. He just doesn't have time for that shit, and again, to me, that's nothing but respect. Like, fucking A. But the only downfall of that is sometimes you don't hear about new releases unless you're already, like, set up on Bandcamp and stuff, but sometimes bands just use social media to let you know like yo we have a new album coming out on friday so get ready like i didn't know the new grave miasma was dropping today um if anybody wants to do a trade or something please dm me and i need to set something up for the new ghastly record as well so at chanel 85 on Bandcamp. don't DM Accursed Womb about Vital Vinyl Vlog stuff. I'm not in charge of the Accursed Womb Instagram account, so there's that. So please don't hit them up and say, how come Chanel hasn't reviewed blah blah blah. <laughs> like, if, there, if I haven't reviewed something yet, it's because I don't own it or I don't like it enough to review. Because I try to only give you, ladies and gentlemen, the best. Like, sometimes I'll go over something mediocre and I'll tell you, like, it could be better, but this band has something. And it might take another couple promos or demos or just a little bit more practice to dial it in. That was how I felt about this film. Uh, I went over it a couple days ago, like that, uh... Hippophobia band or whatever. Like, they said that... They're, they're like, yeah, like, we're going a completely different direction, more like Proclamation. And I was like, whoa. And I meant to say Profanatica is what I meant to say. They were like, yeah, our new stuff sounds more like Profanatica. I was like, whoa, like, really? Fucking A, like, that's cool. I'm excited to hear it. But, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Again, you fucking rule. Who's Happy Friday.